and welcome to Off-Road Yota Exploration. My name is Kai and this is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. I spent the last several years modifying it and taking it on trips. I've done a lot of research into the products I've used and the modifications I've made and I would like to share some of that information with you. On this channel I'll be doing product reviews as well as taking you along on future adventures. On this video I'll be doing an overview of the build and a walk around of the truck. In future videos, I'll be doing specific product reviews. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or would like to see any specific reviews, please leave a comment below. The base truck is a 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road. It's got the 3.5 liter V6 with a six speed manual transmission. It's the double cab version with the five foot short bed. The overall build of this truck is intended for off-roading, but to still maintain some road manners, as this is also my daily driver. Most of the modifications are built to make it more capable off-road. Let's start at the front, looking at the modifications. For the front bumper, we have the True North Fabrications, hybrid steel bumper. Inside we've got the Warn VR Evo 12S winch with synthetic line. The LED lights are from Black Oak LED. And the center lights are spotlights and the side ones are floodlights. For headlights I'm running the stock headlights that I've taken apart and painted black. I've also swapped out the bulbs within. I'll go over the details of that in the future video. For the grill, I'm running a grill from Custom Grills. For the headlights, I've also added these trim pieces from Miso Customs. For skid plates, I have Mobtown off-road skid plates. As you can see, these have been well used. They go all the way back covering the transmission as well as the transfer case. Coming around the side of the truck you can see I'm running a safari snorkel with a cyclone pre-cleaner. I'll do a future review of the safari snorkel as well as the pre-cleaner as well. On the mirrors I am running the Miso Customs LED turn signals. For my wheel and tire setup these are the Mickey Thompson Classic 3 in black. As you can see, they've had some use on the trails and suffered some, ro some rock rash. The tires are Cooper Discoverer STT Pros in 305-70-16. This is a 33-inch tire. For suspension components in the front, I'm running Total Chaos Extended Travel Coilovers. These have the remote reservoir. I'm also running Total Chaos Upper Control Arms. The bump stops have been switched out for Timberin bump stops. For sliders, I'm running Mobtown Off-Road bolt-on steel sliders. These have also had seen some trail use and could do with a touch-up of paint. The windows on the truck have been tinted all around. I've also added some decals to personalize the truck. And 
I've named this the TRD Off-Road Namibia Edition, as I'm from a country in Southwest Africa called Namibia. For the rear suspension, I'm running Old Man Emu Heavy Duty Leaf Springs. And for shocks, I am running the Bilstein 5100 Extended Travel Shocks. I'm also running the Timberin Bump Stops in the rear, as well as the U-Bolt Flip Kit. This allows me to have a lot more clearance in the back and not get hung up. I have also extended the breather for the rear differential. I've mounted the breathing port behind the tail light. For a spare tire, I am running the Cooper Discover ST Max. This is a skinny tire as it's the 255 85 16. This allows it to fit in the stock location but also doesn't hang down too low. I've swapped out my tail lights to OME tail lights but with the black inserts to get rid of some of the chrome. I'm running SOS Concept rear bumper, fully steel. This has the hidden hitch mount. Inside the bed, I've got an OME bed mat. I'm also running the Total Chaos bed stiffeners. I do have a rooftop tent, Smitty built rooftop tent with bed bars that I run on the truck sometimes and the bed stiffeners help a lot. For the tailgate, I've also replaced the insert with a mountain hatched. This is great to get an even surface and not have the ridges in there. As well as have some little cubbies to hold your drink or some screws if you're working on something. On the back of the truck, I'm running a trifold cover by Rugged Cover. This is the Rugged Cover 2. Now for a look at some of the modifications I've done inside. Inside I've got the WeatherTech floor mats all around. These have lasted for many years. Although they look dirty, they hold up very well. As you can see, we have the manual transmission. I've modified it a little bit from the stock configuration the upgraded shift knob as well as bringing the boot down a little bit and cleaning that up a bit. Here I've replaced the little cubby with a switch panel and then added in three light switches. I've also upgraded the lights to the Miso Custom dual brightness lights for the dome light as well as the map lights. And when I got the truck new, I got it with the DC output in the rear here. Since then, I've also added an AC outlet in the back. I've also mounted a camera in the front here that I can switch to at any point as well as using the rear camera at any time. I also have a harness to be able to use two-wheel drive in low range. For a phone mount, I'm using the Rockform mount with a Rockform phone case. This has an amazing magnet on it. I've never had any issues with it off-road. I've also changed out the radio knobs as well as the color on the dials here. I 
Let's look at some of the modifications I've done under the hood. As you can see, I've added the red line springs to assist with and hold up the hood. On this side, I've added a blue sea fuse box just to clean up some of the wiring. I've also added in a 100 amp fuse. For the battery terminals, I've added SLE terminals. These are great for cleaning up and making it easy to attach any wires to the battery. Here we've got the cables coming in from the winch. I've also added this aluminium battery holder and added a sticker on there. We've done some aesthetic upgrades as well with some of the TRD oil cap as well as the radiator fluid cap. I've also upgraded the air filter to the TRD air filter as well as the TRD intake here. I have a ARB twin compressor that I'll be mounting here in the next few months. I'm just waiting on the last few parts to arrive for that. Under the hood, I've also mounted some LED lights. These turn on with the rock lights in the truck. Provide some additional lighting in here to make it easy to see if we need to do anything at night. And they turn on with the rock lights under the truck. For my winch controller, I have mounted it here behind the grill using a plate from Manor Mount. This is a perfect place to locate it as there isn't enough space above the winch. With the worn VR Evo winch, the cable is long enough. You don't need to get an extension to be able to mount it there. That about wraps up our video for today. I'm sure I've missed a few modifications. I'll try and do a follow-up video with anything that I've missed and any new additions that I've added in the next couple of months. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Get out there and explore, but don't forget to tread lightly.